sir. What we have here is a Vulcan's 310 uh, nickel bronze brazing alloy. Sometimes brazing you want it to flow real nice, but sometimes you want to fill in areas. That's what this is designed for. It's high strength, but yet you can fill in a, an area. Sometimes things break and all the pieces aren't there, or it doesn't break nice and smooth where you can get it together, so you have to fill in gaps. What I'm going to do is take this uh, nickel bronze brazing alloy, and I'm going to fill the end of this tubing right here with this alloy. Not running it, not dripping it. We sort of slang term it the out of position brazing rod. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this hole up in this tubing. What I want to do is get it warmed up. There we go. Put a little flux on there. Now, the real trick to this uh, brazen alloy is to angle your torch See how the angle of my torch? Like I say, if you've got uh, something you want to fill in or a gap or your piece is missing, it also work hardens. Sometimes it's used if you've got a gear tooth missing, you can fill this in, the gear tooth, and uh, grind it kind of close in shape, and it will. Uh, Okay, there, we filled that up with that. Now I'm just going to what we call flame shape it. Just kind of go back over it. Smooth it right out. Make sure I don't get too much heat into it. Pull off. There you go, camera guy. Let that cool down. Cool that down. What you see here is a real nice filled in with nickel bronze combination. You'll notice it's got a little silver, silvery color. That's a nickel. You also could fill a hole in, drill a hole, and have a bushing because it work hardens. This is our uh, Forma putty. Uh, it's also a heat shield. Um, and what it's really nice for is if you have to put, what we're going to do is we're going to put this bolt on this piece of steel right here. So what we do is we take our putty and just bend it over and it holds it for us. Be pretty hard putting clamps and you know brackets and stuff. So that's where this comes in real handy. Also if you've got a braze around some plastic or some wood or something you can pack this around there and it will uh, keep the heat from getting to it. I'm going to warm these up to about a dull red. Then we'll uh, put the Vulcan 310 in there. Both pieces have to be uh, red, not one or the other, both. Because what will happen is you'll have the uh, bonding temperature on one piece and not the other. So it'll jump to one. See what it just did? It jumped to the, to the bottom piece. So you got to have the temperature up on the bolt also. So then we'll just walk right around this bolt onto this piece of steel. Make sure we get it all the way around. Get the back side. The flux on this 310 is wonderful. It really does a nice job cleaning. You notice we didn't grind anything. We just went right in with it. There we go. Now I'll take the putty off. The bolt is there. Now what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to uh, sweat that like I always like to reheat and make sure that it's sweated in good. Okay, now I'm going to show you the out of position part of the brazing rod. For an example, if you had to build up a gear tooth I'll come this way. Again, we didn't grind anything. We didn't clean it up, which is always wise to do. We get a 
get a bond coat or the first coat on there, get it uh, tinned in real well. You can build up uh, keyways and shafts, gear teeth. It's a build up brazing rod with high strength. You see how that walked right out there? All right. Now we're going to cool that down. By cooling this down doesn't do anything to the braze. It doesn't uh, make it hard. It doesn't do anything. There you go. We joined here. We kind of built up. We went out there. Now, is it is it strong? What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this bolt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this and try to break that up. Okay, I'll try this way. I cannot move that bolt off of there. Well, it's moving the vi I just can't do it. It's stronger than I am. So whatever you braze with this, you're guaranteed it's going to hold. And don't forget, you can fill in gaps or if things are missing. There you go, Vulcan 310. Nickel, silver, braze, nickel, silver, bronze, brazing alloy.